Hello and welcome to my channel. If you're new, I'm Delaney and if you're returning, thank you for being here. Today's video is a Fashion Friday, obviously. And if you guys are new to my channel, I have a series called Keep or Return where I kind of bring you guys along mentally for the shopping process with me to different retailers and just go through my thought process on picking things out, kind of how I envision styling them, how I actually end up liking them, and essentially if I'm choosing to keep or return items. So you guys have requested this video for Forever 21. So I picked up a couple of little pieces and this will basically be like a blind taste test of try on hauls where I haven't tried any of these things on. They just caught my eye and we'll go through them together and see what works and what doesn't. So as always, you guys can leave video requests in the comments below. I'll add them to my list. I'll get to them one day, I promise. And if you haven't already subscribed, be sure to do so. It means so much to me and give this video a thumbs up while you're at it. Let's get to it. So a lot of you requested Forever 21 for this series because it's really affordable, obviously. So I wanted to give you some options and this, and they're also really trendy. So it's perfect. This caught my eye. The wide leg kind of flare pants are so in right now. I have a couple of black pairs that I'm obsessed with, but of course I love neutrals and this is kind of like a nice, you know, beige tone. So I had to try these out. They're a little bit of a ribbed material and I got these in a small so let's see if they actually look cute on okay for starters i feel like these are cute as far as like the concept goes and the color but i feel like they're not right for me that's my initial response just right off the bat they kind of feel like not that flattering they're like super super comfortable and i was just telling clayton i feel like i just say broccoli and i feel like broccoli makes me really bloated so this is like so comfortable <laughs> but they're a little bit see-through you guys can probably tell so they might work if i was wearing like a nude pair of underwear but they're just a little too see-through and yeah i just don't think that they're completely right so Swing and a miss for the first one. We're going with the return. And then next, I picked up this t-shirt from the men's section. I actually got a couple of things from the men's section because if you don't already know, I love men's clothing. And this is actually a size small, but it looks very oversized. It's the only size they had. So I'm glad because I really like my graphic tees oversized like this. Some of my favorite graphic tees are from Forever 21 men's section. I've had them for years. So let's try this on here. I wish it was a little bit bigger because I like them to be really oversized and Clayton and I also share them. So he fits in an extra large usually for men's like for oversized and then it's just super oversized on me and I like that. I think that this still works. So right now I'm leaning towards keep for this. And basically the way that I style these is just sometimes with just sneakers and socks, kind of like a dress or with biker shorts, with sweats, with kind of like dad baggy jeans. Honestly, just everything and anything I can think of. I wear graphic tees so much. So whenever I see one that's a good one, I'm like, I need to try to make that work. So loving this one, I think. All right, I'm just gonna show you all the things that I got from the men's section right now, I decided. So next is this pair of sweats. They are like a Sherpa kind of teddy material, which I'm just extremely drawn to. So pretty much anytime I see something with that fabric, I consider how I could make it work in my wardrobe. That's kind of what happened here. So found these in the men's section and I got a size small because they did look to run more on the larger side. And again, this is something that I kind of picked up for Clayton as well. I love sharing clothes. So I figured that the small could fit him too because they looked pretty oversized, I would say. And I pretty much pictured styling them just like this, like with a little crop top or something super oversized. So yeah, I pretty much picture styling these with little crop top, maybe like a cropped thermal or something that's long sleeve, a little cropped hoodie. I feel like since they're men's and they're a little oversized, I like doing something cropped with them that kind of like evens out the proportions instead of looking just like a complete blanket if I wore something oversized on top, but I'm not completely opposed to that. So that could happen too. And then just sneakers, so like super casual. And I would say my initial response of these is that I'm leaning towards keeping them. They're super comfy. They're pretty like thick and warm, which would be great for chilly walk. It's something I love taking or love doing. And I also think that these are good for Clayton. So it's kind of like a two for one. So I have some extra motives for wanting to keep these ones, I think. All right, next is this pair of pants also from the men's section. I believe this is from a collection that Forever 21 did honoring Marilyn Monroe. 
So really cool. I was really drawn to this print and everything. I actually picked these out solely with Clayton in mind. I didn't really think of them for myself, but then when I decided to do this haul, I was like, I'm just gonna include these and see how they worked. And I wanted to share them with you guys. I got them at a size 30 for Clayton and they're obviously too big for me, but I think they're really fun. Like I said, I love the print. I think it's so cool, but I don't think I'm gonna be able to make these work for me. I had imagined styling them kind of with just something plain on top, maybe like a crop top or a white button up or something like that because they're pretty like loud in the print. I think that the fit and everything just won't work for kind of a sharing item between the two of us. There's just too much fabric. So even if I wore them with a belt or something, I think it would just be too much like sticking out in certain places and they're kind of like a lower rise so if they were a higher rise i feel like i'd be able to like you know cinch them at the right place maybe with a belt but they just seem kind of like a awkward low rise for me so i'm gonna say keep for clayton because he already uh, tried them on and they looked so cute on him and they fit well returned for me so they're not really getting returned but they're not they're not for me Next up is these tie-dye cord flares, which are so fun actually, I love these. So tie-dye I feel like was huge in 2020, obviously. I think it's still having a little bit of a moment in 2021. I don't know if it will last quite as long or as strong throughout the year, but I'm still a little bit drawn to it. So I saw these in the store and I was like, you know what? Those kind of look like clouds to me, which I'm all for. I swear, if something has clouds on it, I'm a sucker for it. So I went for them. And also the flares are really, really in this season. So I have a bunch of the like stretchy material ones, but I wanted something that was a little more true to like a structured pant. So these are really comfortable as well. They're not like a jean or anything stiff. They're just like a nice soft kind of cord material. The colors are just like really nice. I feel like they can match so many things. It's kind of neutral, nothing too crazy. Like I feel like pink isn't as easy for me to match with as blue. So I actually really like these. I got them in a size small and they fit perfectly. I'm normally a 24 for reference. So I think that these are good. Again, kind of just pairing them with something plain on top, like a little white tee or a crisscross halter top, I think would be super cute because they kind of have like a hippie retro flair to them. Oversized sweatshirt that kind of like hangs down, I think would be super cute. Sneakers. And then I have this quilted floral bomber. So as you guys may or may not know, in the past couple of months, quilted material has been super popular, really trendy, and it's great for bombers and jackets. And I've even seen it on sweatpants and it's so cute. But I think that this variation of this is really nice because it kind of sets us up for spring as well because it has a little bit of floral, it's a pastel color. So it's not super wintry, even though it is on trend still when we're moving into spring. So I got this in a size medium true to size would be small but i like jackets oversized generally and this had just a really comfy feel to it even though it's cropped i usually get true to size for cropped but i wanted this one to be just a little bit baggier i would say i actually really like this i think it's so cute it's like the perfect spring jacket, I would say. Cause it's kind of like you're just wearing like a lightweight quilt, but it's like the perfect colors, like the pastels and the little florals. It's also a very nostalgic print for me. I feel like this looks like something in my childhood, but I can't exactly place my finger on what it is. The way that I envisioned styling this is probably something kind of plain, like maybe just black leggings and a black top or something and chunky socks and sneakers, maybe Converse or just my Air Force Ones, something like that. So kind of like athletic leisure-ish, ath -leisure almost. I'm trying to think how else I would do it. Maybe with like cords, maybe with like a tan pair of cords or something girlier, like a little skirt. I actually picked up a skirt. I'm gonna show you guys. That could be really cute with this. So something along those lines, either like kind of comfy athleisure and very basic, maybe biker shorts as well, or something a little girlier, if that suits your style. So. But yeah, so I think that this one is a keep for me. I have to take a better look. I can only see in a monitor, but yeah, I mean, I think that this is super cute. Good for walks or like when we go play pickleball or, you know, whatever, 
whatever the spring holds for me. I feel like this could be a spring bag. This next piece is a little corduroy mini skirt that I just mentioned before. And I picked up this skirt because I have a skirt similar to this with a little side slit on it from Princess Polly in multiple colors that I live and swear by. It is like one of my absolute favorite pieces to style. It goes with everything for me. Cropped t-shirts, pretty blouses, sweaters, body suits, uh, some like oversized zip up like this. You name it, I'll probably wear it with one of those skirts. So I saw this and I don't have a brown one that's kind of like a cord material like this. And I thought that it could be really easy to style and really fun, especially with all of the nice like warm tones happening in the the winter months so like all the chocolates i thought would be really cute with it but i just don't know if the fit is quite as good as the princess polly one so i mean my legs are really pale maybe i just need to look like i have a tan and then i would feel more confident in this skirt like maybe it's just kind of washing me out i don't know i got it in a size extra small which i think is the correct size like it did fits well also these kind of skirts look really cute with over the knee boots so maybe i need to try it with those so i'm kind of on the fence about this one and then this little top i actually picked up to go with the skirt i kind of envisioned them together i love kind of a lacy detailed feminine top especially in the spring but I wear them pretty much throughout the year as well. I think it's definitely normal to kind of lean towards more feminine things in the spring just because of all the flowers and the pastels and everything. But I just really like tops that have a lot of detail like this. I don't have super feminine style, so it's a little bit outside of my comfort zone usually when I pick up something like this, but I still gravitate towards them for some reason and I enjoy styling them, you know, certain ways, even though most days I just end up wearing like a t-shirt and jeans. But I think that this is a really pretty one. It's it's kind of just like a ribbed material and then it's got the lace detail it's kind of a high neck and the puff sleeves are obviously really cute to touch as well so i like it with just a skirt or something like this slacks maybe a slip even maybe like slack shorts things like that just kind of more feminine dressed up chic and girly so i think this one i'm on the fence about i feel like i'm leaning towards keeping it i have a bunch of lacy detailed tops from forever 21 that i've had for years and i love them so i feel like they really do nail these designs so i'm kind of gravitating towards keeping it because some of the things that i have all i have literally had for like three years and every time i wear them now people are like oh my god where is that from and it's obviously unavailable um so i feel like they're on something here and maybe I should keep it. I'll regret it if I don't. That's what I'm feeling. So, and this is the last item that I'm going to share with you guys. So, these are little denim style or denim cargo style pants. And I was obviously drawn to these because they totally fit the bill for a more masculine kind of boyish style, which I love. And I just like baggier pants, anything that feels basically like boyish like these aren't super manly to me they definitely feel more boyish like i don't know the style of like a five-year-old boy or something pretty much like you have like cool toys hidden in the pockets or something like that so i ended up getting these in a size 26 i'm normally a 24 but they didn't have a 24 and they looked like they ran a little bit small as well so i went with the 26 i also figured because they're kind of a baggier style i wouldn't mind if they were oversized but they ended up fitting basically perfectly i mean maybe just like a little bit loose on the waist if you normally like your pants kind of snug but i'd say they pretty much fit perfectly so so I would definitely suggest sizing up a size or two. And they have this cute little cinching detail on the bottom, which is really fun. I think that this would be super cute with heels if you wanted to dress it up. Again, maybe with a little crop top and a halter neck or something like that, kind of 90s-ish. Or just super casual with like an oversized baggy t-shirt, a cropped t-shirt, sweatshirt, anything like that I think is perfect. So kind of just boyish street style casual looks with this would be perfect and these are cute for me so that is it for today's video thank you guys so much for watching if you have retailers that you'd like to see me do a keep or return with on my channel definitely drop them in the comments below i'm always adding to that list and i will see you in my next video